Morning. Pagan Bean Barbarian. Coffee. Apothecary. You get the deal. Oh man, I've used this mug before. Well, tomorrow you'll get an extra special one. Who cares? I want to talk about ghosts. Here's what I want to know. Why are there not different classifications of ghosts? We all saw Ghostbusters when we grew up. They had all kinds of classifications. Why don't I have all kinds of classifications here on a bookshelf somewhere? I need to know. I need answers, people. This is important. I have volumes and volumes on the different classifications of demons. Why not ghosts? I could tell you all kinds of things about the ranking of stupid angels. I could stand here for like a month and talk to you about the different kinds of fairies. Behind this camera right now, there are like five books on fairies. And behind me, there are more. See that shelf back there? There's all books about different kinds of fairies. Why don't I have that for ghosts? Ghosts need love too. We got all kinds of words for ghosts. There's spooks, there's specters, there are apparitions. Here where I live, they call them haints. I love it. That's right, haints. H-A-I-N-T-S, haints. Not haunts, haints. It's a real thing. Still cracks me up, it's my favorite. I mean, what do we have? We have poltergeist, which we don't even think are ghosts. The prevalent um, theory on poltergeists, because they only exist in households where there are teenage children, is that it's actually a telekinetic release of teenage angst. So I don't even think that counts as a ghost. Everything else is just lumped in one big category of spooky, haunty, ghosty things. This is not fair. Ghosts need to have a spectrum too. I'm talking about fluidity for ghosts. I really think that we need to put some thought into this. You cannot tell me that the apparition of Marie Antoinette that just walks by the same route all the time to do the same thing, like some sort of weird space memory, something like muscle memory, is the same thing as the ghost that lives in your attic that comes down and talks to you every once in a while. We cannot say that all ghosts that throw things are poltergeist. I got ghosts in my kitchen, and if you're being an asshole, it will poke you. That is not the same as the ghost that is stacking up chairs somewhere in upstate New York. Sorry, Amityville. You and me got different kinds of ghosts. What is happening here? Why aren't ghosts getting any more love? They should get more love. I got all kinds of ghost stories. What's happening? They need different kinds of names. I need a classification. I need a ranking system. I need to know how close they are to this realm. I need to know what's going on. Somebody needs to get on this. Not me, because I don't, I don't want to write a book on ghosts. We got shadow people, I guess, but isn't that just the same way as saying, like, I didn't get a good look at him, you know? Like, if somebody committed a crime and you just saw them as they were walking away, you wouldn't be like, that's not a criminal, that's a shadow person. That's not, that's not fair. No, you just, you just didn't, you just didn't look hard enough or you, you didn't get a chance to, they didn't materialize. We also, we need a differentiation for ghosts that materialize. The ghost that lives in the basement of my favorite bar is a totally different thing than that ghost in my house that pulls down the garland every year at Yuletide if I don't hang it exactly straight and the swag isn't perfect on every single strand. Yeah, you heard me. I know what you're up to. Even the fairies have a type of ghost. They're called whites. Whites are like... Ghosts that have been dead for so long that they don't know the ghosts anymore and then they become fairies. Why is it that we have fairy ghosts because we have all these different classifications of fairies but here in the mortal realm we can't get our shit together? <sighs> I live in a historic town and there is a very old cemetery here near Bacon's Castle and there is a ghost in it and every once in a while at the right time of year it becomes a giant fireball and it shoots up out of the cemetery and it goes into Bacon's castle which is like I don't know a quarter of a mile away and then it flies around one of the bedrooms and then it disappears. That is not the same ghost as the one that comes and goes oogie boogie at your bed at the end of the night. The totally different ghost. Elementals, oh there's a classification of ghosts. That's not even a ghost. That's just literally when a land or space attacks you. That's not a ghost. That is a totally different thing. 
uh, that, that's not someone who used to be a person. That does not count. What is with the only classifications of ghosts being things that aren't ghosts? I don't understand. It's just not fair to the ghost people. We need to diversify the ghost community. It's too early for me to be this animated. I can't keep it up. Have a good day. Ghosts.